Hello, my friends, I am so nine back again, and today we're reviewing Mateo and z -Bob the Robot. This is set 71454 for ages 7 up from the LEGO Dreams line, 237 pieces. Let's see what we get. So if you pull down the thumb hold and open it, let's see what you end up with. You end up with a bag two, a very, very large instruction booklet with a very, very cool drawing, probably by Mateo. Bag three, sticker sheet. Bag one, one plate. Why? Why is this outside of the back? <laughs> Never mind. There's another piece outside of the back. Why? All right. I guess let's get into the bid laps. Okay, so we've gotten him out of the box and we've gone for the gun attachment first, but wait, there's more. You can change it into a jetpack version, which we'll do after I show you this version. So in this version, you have these two little green canisters, a target to shoot at, and an extra tank for your gun. Now what comes in both versions are these guys. We have Mateo from the show. He has some red boots, gray pants, blue shirt with the timekeeper's emblem, green belt, very, very large pencil, which I really like with a little pink eraser on the back. We have, uh, I believe, his hourglass, which enables him to create stuff with his imagination. You have his green eyeball for whatever reason, and the green streaks in his nice brown hair. He has a grinning expression, and just a smirking expression. And then we have this child. This guy is Jaden, apparently. A dude in purple. He has, uh, I believe that's braces, I'm not really sure. So you have a sleeping version, and an awake version, but concerned. He has a very interesting hairstyle, I'm not sure what it's called. And then he has unicorn pajamas. Then, as we move on to the creature that was stolen him, this is Jaden's bed. And this is the monstrous creature living under his bed. He has two slit-like eyes like a cat, some very, very long green claws. It runs on four legs and has like a scorpion tail to help make sure that he stays in bed. And uh, that's the enemy. And then, to deal with this tiny little pest problem, you have the exterminator. <laughs> the massive, massive blob creature. So you can see, there's a lot of points of articulation, right where the knee is, or where the knee should be. You have one eye's hips, his joints swivels right here, his head can swivel independently, his arms move at the wrist everywhere. There's so much articulation. We move on to the gun, he has a nice laser sight, a tank of uh, ooze, I believe, and then you have the massive blast. Look at the size of that, that's crazy. Then we move up the mech, you can see that it says slime, or something along those lines. And then up here it says blob, so there's a nice little bit of graffiti up there. You have his head, which is literally just two eyeballs floating in a void of gelatin. And then in this version, you also have a jetpack with these stud cans. And how these work, if you press down this, they will fire, but I'm not going to do it because I will lose them. And this also has some varying integration. Now I've shown you this, which I really do like this version, but I like the jetpack version better. So let's now build that. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. It helps you out a ton. Now, on with the show. So here we have Z-Blob 2.0, but first I just want to show you something. Not only does it come with a couple of extra stickers for all of your stickering needs, but also throughout the book, every time you build something, there's a cool little comic book style drawing. Just wanted to point that out because I think it's fun. Now onto this. Z-Blob 2.0 is what I think I will go for personally, just because I like this look better. Z-Blob's head, in fact, is still actually there. You instead put this little four-eyed visor on over it, which in my opinion, I just like that look better. It looks more like a mech. Then on the back, using the gun blast piece, you have a nice jetpack, still two tanks, still a flag for whatever reason, and then it's a jetpack, so it flies with the power of slime instead of shooting at Emmys. And then if we flip it around, he still has his gun, just not in a very large form. Instead, he has a wrist cannon, which in my opinion, I really like wrist cannons better than back cannons. I didn't really like the design of the gun, and personally, I really like this version better than the um, back cam. So personally, of these two, I like this one better. So this is the one where he's going he's going to stay as. And my reasoning is this. I personally prefer this helmet to Z-Blob's actual face. No offense, Z-Blob. I like the jetpack concept rather than the gun because I don't think the gun looks that good personally. And I like the idea of our fist cannons rather than shoulder cannons. So I just, I like this version better. So it's, in my opinion, if you really want to weigh your two options, 
You either have a cute blob in a mech with a gun, basically an exterminator with a shoulder can, like War Machine, if War Machine was an exterminator who is also a pile of ooze, or you can go for something that looks like it came straight out of an anime with a nice a robot mech with a jetpack and some wrist cans. Personally, the choice for me is very, very obvious. This one is cooler in my opinion, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> I'm just a dude who messes around with Legos. So if you guys enjoyed this video, this has been a blast building this Lego set, and I will catch you next time. Sayonara, Ayanara.